So the next topic, the most important topic for this course we're going to discuss is the biological data types. So just now we already discussed about the term biometry. So the biometry is equal to biostatistic. So in another way, you can also interpret the biometry literally from the words. Bio means biology. Metry means measurements. So the statistic that we're going to learn is to use to deal with the biological measurement in the context of this course. So for the biological measurements, we can categorize them into three different data types. First is the scale, ordinal data, and also nominal data. So for the scale data, we can divide into two types. First is the interval scale. So the interval scale is the scale that show the difference between item, but do not show the ratio between them. Okay. The reason is that they don't have an absolute zero. So there are a few examples. For example, the temperature that measure in the Celsius scale, the depth. Okay. So these are the scale, interval scale that don't have an absolute zero and they do not show the ratio between them. Okay. So in this case, the multiplications and sort division are not allowed for this type of data. So for example, you cannot multiply the degree. So two times two degree is equal to four degree, which is not correct. And the other type of scale data is ratio scale. So this is the one that is more common and you are familiar with. So the ratio scale data show the difference between the item as the interval scale and also show the ratio between them. And it has a absolute zero. So for example, the metric system, the CM, meter, kg, in this case, the multiplication and also divisions are allowed. So for example, you know that 4 cm is equal to 2 of the 2 cm. Okay. So these are the scale data. And the next type of data is ordinal data. So ordinal data is the data that can be sorted, okay. but still not allow the relative difference between them. Okay. So usually this is the data that we collect related to the question A that we use. Okay, we use the linker scale questions. So for example, the ordinal data can be dichotomous value, sit or healthy, okay, when measuring health, guilt or innocent, when making the judgment in court wrong or false, right or true. Okay, so these are the dichotomous value. You have a two value. And we also have a spectrum of value. For example, if you ask a student whether uh, the student agree to have uh, only online lectures. So some of them, you give them the five, four different choice. So completely agree, mostly agree, mostly disagree and completely disagree. So in this case, we know that each of these are different as the dichotomous value, but we cannot interpret the relative degree of difference between them. However, we can arrange them by order. So we arrange by completely agree, so 100% agree, mostly agree, so it's a little bit less than agree, Mostly disagree, so this is less than mostly agree, and completely disagree, so this is 100% disagree. Okay, so you can arrange it. And the last category of data is nominal data. So this data is mainly used for category name or qualitative classifications. There is no rank order, that means you cannot rank it. So for example, hair color. It's just a nominal, 
data, you cannot rank it. Gender, you also cannot rank it because they are equal. Okay, so they used to describe the category of the experiment unit. Okay, so data.